For decades, a terrifying idea from Stephen Hawking almost broke physics. It was simple. Toss something into a black hole, and its information gets deleted from the universe. Forever. That shouldn't be possible. And it created a paradox that stumped the world's smartest people. But now, after 50 years of fighting, a completely insane theory about holograms and quantum weirdness might finally solve it. Okay, before we jump into a black hole, you need to understand one of the most basic, unbreakable rules of our reality. Information can never be destroyed. Now, when physicists say information, they don't mean words in a book. They mean the unique properties of every single particle. Think of an apple. Its information is everything that makes it that apple, the quantum state of every atom, its mass, its spin. It's like a universal fingerprint that separates it from every other apple in history. Quantum mechanics, the foundation of physics, says this fingerprint is eternal. You can burn the apple, you can eat it, whatever. The information isn't lost. It just gets rearranged. The apple's atoms are now in the air or in you. If you had a supercomputer beyond anything we can imagine, you could theoretically trace all those scattered bits and piece the original apple back together. This is a core law of physics. Information is conserved. It's not a suggestion, it's a rule. And for a long time, that law seemed totally safe. Until Stephen Hawking looked at black holes. We all know the deal with black holes. Gravity so strong that nothing, not even light, can get out once it crosses the event horizon. They're the ultimate cosmic prisons. This didn't seem to be a problem for the information law at first. Sure, if you threw an apple in, its information would be trapped inside, locked away forever. Inaccessible, yeah, but not deleted. The universe's total information was still there. Some of it was just in a place we could never, ever see. Everyone was pretty happy with this picture. It worked. It didn't break any rules. But in 1974, Stephen Hawking made a discovery that blew it all up and started a 50-year crisis in physics. Hawking, using some seriously weird quantum mechanics, found that black holes aren't completely black. They glow. Quantum effects at the very edge of the event horizon cause them to spit out a steady stream of particles. This became known as Hawking radiation. And this radiation means one huge thing. Black holes lose mass. And if they lose mass, they shrink. Over an insane amount of time, trillions and trillions of years, this slow leak will make a black hole completely evaporate, disappearing in a final poof of energy. And boom, that's the paradox. Hawking's math showed this radiation is thermal, which is a fancy way of saying it's totally random. Its properties only depend on the black hole's mass, spin, and charge, not on the unique fingerprint of the apple, or the star, or the spaceship that fell in. So when the black hole is gone, what happened to all the information it ate? It can't be in the black hole because there is no black hole. It can't be in the radiation because the radiation is random and carries no unique information. It looks like it was just deleted from reality. This was the black hole information paradox. It put the two pillars of physics, general relativity and quantum mechanics, in a cage match. Hawking's work meant one of them had to be wrong. For almost 50 years, physics was broken, and nobody knew how to fix it. Physicists freaked out. If information can be lost, that means we can never truly know the past or predict the future. The universe would have a kind of memory loss. They knew there had to be a way for the information to get out. Maybe it wasn't lost, just scrambled beyond recognition, like trying to read a book after it's been turned to ash and smoke. A physicist named Don Page, one of Hawking's former students, took this idea and ran with it. In 1993, he figured that if information is really saved, its escape must follow a specific pattern. If you graph the amount of information in the radiation over the black hole's life, it should go up and up. But, and this is the key, about halfway through, the graph has to take a sharp turn and go back down, hitting zero right as the black hole vanishes. This V-shaped graph is called the page curve. The page curve was the answer key. Everyone knew it was the right answer. The problem was, no one could make the math work. Hawking's original math just showed the information line going up forever. To make that curve turn, physics needed a new idea, something completely radical. The first part of that radical idea was the holographic principle. This is one of the wildest concepts in all of physics. It suggests that our 3D reality might be a projection, like a hologram, of information stored on a flat 2D surface far away. 
It claims everything inside a volume of space can be fully described by information living on the boundary of that space. For a black hole, this was a game changer. What if the Apple's information never actually went inside the 3D black hole? What if it got stamped onto the 2D surface of the event horizon, like data on a cosmic DVD? This would mean the information never truly gets lost. It just stays on the surface. This idea was cool, but it was still missing the how. How does that information on the surface actually get out into the radiation? This stuff is so wild it literally changes how we think about reality. For years, the hologram idea was just a cool thought. But in the last few years, physicists had a massive breakthrough that finally showed how it could work. The solution has a name just as weird as the concept, entanglement islands. First, a quick refresher on quantum entanglement. Einstein called it spooky action at a distance. It's a link between two particles where their fates are tied together. Measure one, and you instantly know stuff about the other, no matter how far apart they are. Now, back to the black hole. Hawking radiation is made of entangled pairs of particles. One escapes to become the radiation we see, while its partner falls into the black hole, supposedly lost forever. The new theory says something absolutely insane. As the black hole gets older, a new region forms deep inside it, the entanglement island. And here's the twist. Even though this island is inside the black hole, from an information perspective, it's considered part of the outside. Here's how it works. The radiation that escaped isn't just entangled with its partner that fell in, it's also entangled with the entire island. This island is like a quantum bridge. The information for everything that ever fell in is stored on the island. And through its entanglement with the escaping radiation, that information gets holographically passed out of the black hole. It's not lost. It's escaping through a quantum back door. When physicists added the information from these entanglement islands to their calculations, they were shocked. The math worked. The page curve, the V-shape they'd been hunting for decades, appeared perfectly. It seems that information does get out after all. So where are we now? This 50-year journey started with Hawking's horrifying idea that black holes delete information, breaking a fundamental law of reality. We found a map to the solution, the page curve, but had no idea how to follow it. And now, through the mind-bending ideas of a holographic universe and entanglement islands, we have what seems to be a working solution. It looks like information is saved and quantum mechanics is still the undefeated champion. The epic battle between general relativity and quantum theory seems to be cooling down, revealing a shocking link between the shape of space-time and quantum entanglement. But solving this paradox has revealed an even weirder reality. If the holographic principle is the key for black holes, could it be true for the whole universe? Are we all just characters in a giant cosmic hologram? The paradox might be fading, but the quest to understand what it all means is just getting started. This stuff is so wild it literally changes how we think about reality. If you love having your mind blown by the biggest questions in science, hit that subscribe button. We go to the craziest places in the universe and you don't want to miss the next trip.